So far, you haven't sent any data to the server, to any script on the server. All you've done is request an URL, and that could be the URL of a PHP file, the URL of a text file, and so forth. However, as you know, you can send data to the server. I'm going to take a look at how that look, works now. This is options2.html, and it looks a lot like options.html, and you can select color scheme 1, which is red, green, and blue. It lets you select the, so the color of the text, and you can select color scheme 2, and as you know, this downloads XML behind the scenes and loads it into the drop-down list box, and you can say black, white, or orange, and so forth for color scheme 2, or red, green and blue for color scheme 1. However, this is options 2.html. It differs from options 1 in that it only uses one PHP file. Instead of using options 1.php and options 2.php, this uses only one PHP file on the server, options.php, and you send it the number of the color scheme you want to use. If you want to use color scheme 1, you send it a value of 1. If you want to use color scheme 2, you send it a value of 2. Let's take a look at how this works. If the user selects the button with the Use Color Scheme 1 caption, you call Get Options, which is going to be a JavaScript function that will interact with options.php with a value of 1. If the user selects Color Scheme 2 and clicks the button for Color Scheme 2, you call the Get Options function with a value of 2. Let's take a look at the Get Options function and see how that works. Here's the Get Options function in JavaScript. You pass it the number of the scheme you want to work with. Here's how it works. It's we're using the get HTTP method to pass to interact with the server, and the way you pass data to the server is in the, using the get method is to append that data to the end of the URL that you are interacting with on the server that you fetch on the server. So here's how you you put together the URL. You say options.php and then you append data to the end of that URL using a question mark and you can say scheme equals and, and then you add to that the value of the scheme passed to you. So for example if the user selected scheme 1 the URL would be options.php question mark scheme equals 1. Similarly for option 2 for scheme 2 the URL would be options.php question mark scheme equals 2. So then we've got to find out how the options.php file will decode that information and determine which scheme it should be sending back to the AJAX application. In general, this is the way you append you append data to an URL like this. You can it's called URL encoding, and if you have spaces in your text that you want to append to the end of an URL, you replace those spaces with a plus sign and as here you append that that text you want to send as data with a question mark to the end of the actual URL of the file that you're sending it to. So here we are options.php question mark scheme equals one or scheme equals two and now we're going to take a look at options.php and see how it decodes the information you're sending to it using the get HTTP method. Here is the way that options.php looks. It's supposed to send back the option one, set of options one, red, green, and blue, or the other color scheme, black, white, and orange, and here is how it determines which color scheme to use. In PHP, you can recover the data sent to you using the get method with the, an array called dollar undersign get. For example, to fetch the number associated with the set to the scheme parameter, which is how this URL works. Options.php sets the scheme parameter to 1 or 2, depending on what was passed to the get options function. And you can check to see whether or not something, some data has been sent associated with the scheme parameter. In other words, if the scheme parameter has been set, then you want to return the correct color scheme and that you can check with the is set function in PHP. So if there is in fact data associated with the scheme parameter, the is set function will return true and you can execute the rest of this PHP. So you know now if you're inside this if if statement that in fact 
data has been set, the scheme parameter has been set. So now you've got to check and see what the scheme parameter has been set to. You say dollar underscore get scheme. If that equals one, then you set the options array to an array of red, green, and blue corresponding to the first color scheme. If the scheme parameter has been set to two, then you set the options array to the second scheme, black, white, and orange. And then you're able to pass back using a single PHP file the data, the correct data for each scheme based on the setting of the scheme parameter. So the actual PHP isn't very important here. What's important is you know that when you use the get HTTP method to fetch data from the server, you can also upload data to the server using this URL encoding as it's called. You append a a question mark and followed by the data you'd like to send to the server. And for more information on URL encoding, do a search on the internet. There are many tutorials on the how to URL encode data. And that's the way you communicate with the server using the get HTTP method. Next up comes the using the post HTTP method.